going to take a quick look here at the uh, components that comprise the uh, headlight retract system of the this is actually a 1985 Celica I'm working on that I've had for a couple decades now that's experiencing some electrical problems that I've got well I've got them all fixed now but uh, been kind of a pain in the ass. We're going to talk about the retractable headlights on an 85 Celica. Actually, the things I'm going to tell you hold true for, uh, I think, 82 through 86. Uh, my retracts were not working. They're working now. I'll start by saying that your, your four-way flashers, your hazards, your radio to some extent and uh, let's see this is and your retracts are all on the same circuit first place to look is up here check these fusible links up here is a couple here there's one there there's a fusible link there so check that that's that's every, all the power for everything comes either through these fusible links or these fusible links here coming off the positive post. So if any of that's fried, you're going to have problems. Um, on this uh, fuse box up here by the battery, the third fuse in here that's marked has horn, for that's your hazard light horn, that also sends power to your um, retract circuit to retract and to deploy and retract your headlights so even if that's blown your headlights will still come on but they won't pop up so you've got to first of all check that fuse now if you take the three bolts off from this that are holding this down to the car here here and here and you flip this upside down and you take the plastic cover off the bottom, there's um, a series of connectors on the bottom of this. And one of those connectors, about down in this area here, there's a connector that has a, a yellow wire with a blue stripe. And there's only going to be one yellow wire with a blue stripe. So don't don't think that you're going to get it confused with anything else. Anyway, that yellow wire with the blue stripe it comes from that connector from this panel here into the fender back through the firewall and it emerges just above the fuse box that's inside the driver's foothold on the left hand side cat panel. Yellow wire with the blue stripe comes down a passage inside the fender it emerges above the fuse panel down here on the kick panel and it goes through a, about a 15 pin connector and it's a green connector. There's a white connector and a green connector. It's the green connector. Okay, so that yellow wire with the blue stripe goes into the connector and after it passes through the connector they change it to a blue wire with a yellow stripe. So you got yellow wire with a blue stripe back through the firewall into the uh, passenger compartment above the fuse panel. Then it through the connector, it switches to a blue wire with a yellow stripe. Okay, that blue wire with a yellow stripe comes back here behind the instrument cluster and it goes into the headlight controller box. That blue box back there by the speedometer cable that's where that blue wire with the uh, yellow stripe goes, okay? You should have 12 volts at all time to that because that's what powers your um, headlights to pop up and to retract. And, you know, even with no, without the ignition on, that's got to be live. So you can, if you don't have power to this point, to that connector that goes into the headlight controller right here that blue wire with the yellow stripe then you've got some kind of trouble between that um that uh 
fuse box up there by the battery in this point. So just to retrace here real quick, you got your fusible links here that supply power to everything except your starter. Of course, that goes through the big cable there to your uh, starter solenoid anyway. So you got the yellow wire with the blue stripe that comes off the bottom of this fuse panel, goes back through the passage in the fender, goes through the firewall into the left-hand kick panel, fuse above the fuse panel. So it hits that connector, it changes to a blue wire with a yellow stripe, it goes behind the instrument cluster into the headlight controller, which is that little blue box right next to the speedometer cable. Then the circuit comes up here. This is a single headlight relay here. You got the headlight motor over here, the little red knob. That's your manual override. You twist that. I think you have to give it about 50 or 60 turns and you get the headlights to go up or down manually. Here the cap is still on this one. There. See? That's the manual override. While we're at it here, uh, the horns for this uh, for these Celicas, they're underneath the motors on both sides. There's two horns left and right. They're underneath the headlight retract and uh, deployment motors. There's a little splash shield there underneath to keep the road spray from getting up onto the motors and, and the fittings. So you have to come up from below. If you get down on the ground and you look up under the corner of the bumper, you'll see uh, about a four inch, three and a half, four inch round metal disc and uh, that's uh, bolted to the chassis. And that's your left one and the right one that's up up underneath here. You have to get down and look up under there and you'll see the horns. Um, I wish someone would have had uh, had a video with just the things I told you just now because it, it would have been a heck of a lot easier for me. And uh, uh, hopefully this helps you a this little bit. This is the layout for the headlight set up here. If you can see here, here's that retract control relay here. That's the blue box that's behind the uh, speedometer. That's behind the uh, uh, gauge panel on the dash. And it's right right next to the uh, right next to the speedometer cable. That's the blue box back there. And you see here, that blue, the L is for blue, Y for yellow. It's the blue and yellow wire that comes from the hazard horn fuse. That's the one up front that I showed you there by the battery. But remember, it's where, when it comes from that panel up front, it's a yellow wire with a blue stripe. Then it goes through the connector in the firewall and it turns into a blue wire with a yellow stripe like it shows here. Okay. So you got that retract control relay. And then the retract relay here. That's the one on the firewall. You've got your motors. And then over here is your ground. Everything on this is white and black. If it's, if it's a white and black wire, it's a ground. So that's, that's a good thing to know if you're, if you're testing for ground. Um, you know, any, any connector going into a relay or anything where you see white and black, check for continuity and make sure you've got good ground because that could definitely be an issue. With that, I'll let you go.